In addition to myelites, Arnold also brings along a few of its own types of lights. So let's take a look at the Arnold specific lights. We can find them by going into the rendering menu and selecting Arnold. And you see we have a number of lights here. I'm going to tear off this menu. We have the Maya specific lights down here at the bottom, but we also have Arnold specific lights up here at the top. Now we have the photometric light, which are lights that simulate actual lights in the real world. We have the mesh light, which turns any polygonal mesh into a light. We have the sky dome, which will surround the scene with a sphere onto which we can put images. We'll get to that one when we talk about image-based lighting. And then we also have the area light. So let's go ahead and just use a few of these. I'm going to start off with the area light. So I'm going to go ahead and select this. And when I do, it brings this object into the scene. And this is my area light. Now this area light has a direction. So you can see this little line sticking out and that's the direction of this light. And the light itself is emitted from this rectangular section. So if I go into say a four view here, I can place this in the scene. And let's go ahead and just try and get this to illuminate the car. So I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this a little bit. Now, if you want to get a bigger effect out of the area light, you can scale it up. So the scale of the light will affect how much light is going into the scene. Now, once you have this light selected, we can go into the attribute editor and mess around with our attributes. Now, this will be a quadratic light. So uh, let's go ahead and turn up the intensity. I'm going to turn up the intensity to say about 400 or so. Now this will depend upon how far away the light is from the object. So this is going to be a number you may have to fiddle with as you work with the scene. So now that I have my light in the scene, I'm going to go ahead and do a render and let's see what the area light does. And here we have the area light. Now, as you can see, this is a great light source. It's a very soft light and it gives a really high quality light into the scene. Now, another way to do this type of lighting is to do what's called a mesh light. So I'm going to go ahead and select this area light and delete it. And let's go ahead and create a polygonal mesh. Now, this will not work for NURBS at the moment. So we need to use a polygon. So I'm going to go into my polygon shelf here. And let's just go ahead and create a polygonal torus. So I'm going to go ahead onto my origin here, drag it out, and give it a little bit of volume. So we're going to make this kind of ring light and let's go ahead and just place this above the car. So now I have this object in the scene, I have to turn it into a light. So we can do that by selecting the object, going Arnold lights, mesh light. And when you do that, it adds in a mesh light. Now, if you took the object and just selected it, you might not be able to find it because it's not in the shader or anything else. It's actually in the geometry group. You have to scroll down through the geometry group to the Arnold rollout. Okay, so it's in the shape group. And this is the same place where we set up opacity for an object. So this rollout is actually pretty important. So in this case, uh, the Arnold translator has turned this into a mesh light. Now we do have uh, different types of things that we can do. If this is a poly mesh, it goes back to what we saw before, where we can turn this into an opaque object. But if we want to, we can turn it into a mesh light. So we can give the light itself a color and intensity. We can use color temperature and so on. So we can really affect this light. Now, uh, the intensity I know is going to be a little bit too low. So I'm going to turn it up to say about 200. And let's go ahead and just give this a render and see what happens. So here we have the render. Now notice the light is not in the scene, but we are getting a fairly good light. Now I think we can actually increase the intensity of the light to get a little bit more light into the scene. So I'm going to go back to my scene here. Let's go ahead and bring this up to 500. And then I'm also gonna click on this little tab here that says light visible, and that will make this light 
visible in the room. So let's do one more render. And here we go. So now we can see the light and we have a lot more light in the scene. So if you can't get the light that you want in a scene, a lot of times it might make sense to actually just create a mesh in the shape of the light you want and use that as the light source.